Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're closing out the second week of April and opening up the budget for the third week. So without further ado, let's go. As usual, we are starting with the expenses. So we had 50 spent in groceries, 20 spent, oh, 20 spent in spending and 60 in dine out. Um, we had 70, 29 in clothing, 265 spent in travel. That's for plane tickets because I'm leaving on a trip next Monday, I believe. Not this Monday, next Monday. So the 29th. Uh, I will tell you where to later. It's going to be a surprise. 16 was for subscriptions for my phone subscription. 20 was for miscellaneous for a pool party. Tickets for a pool party I'm going to. And 3027 was for upkeep. So in total for the second week was 561 euros and 56 cents. Perfect. So let's flip through the weekly budget. Let's update that and we're gonna go from there. So our income was 900 euros. We worked with 900 euros. We spend everything in grocery spending and dine out, so there's no rollover. So 50, 20, 60. Uh, correspondingly, five was into gas, 25 into rent, five in miscellaneous, and 15 one month ahead. So all of the, what are they called? The amounts stay the same in all categories. So this one isn't really interesting. We brought the 685 up here. 30 into beauty, 20 into birthdays, 10 into Christmas, 20 into clothing, 30 into health, 20 into subscriptions, 50 into travel, that was 180, 505 left, we're bringing that here, 5 went into babies, 20 into car, 25 in deposit, 5 in pets, 270 in retirement, and 5 into technology and weddings. And we got 170 left and we brought that here. 140 went into the savings box and 30 went into taxes. So that was 170 in total. That wasn't very exciting, but let's flip through next week's budget and we're going to set that up. So we're going to be working with 750 euros this week. Groceries is going to get 45 Spending is going to get a 20, dine out is going to get a 60, gas is going to get 5, rent 25, and 5 in miscellaneous, and one month ahead is going to get a 50. So in total, that's going to be in cash envelopes and bills, 210. So 750 minus 210 is 540. We're bringing that up here to short term sinking funds. Uh, beauty is going to get, let's check, 30. Birthdays is going to get a 20. Christmas is going to get a 10. Clothing a 20. Health is going to get a 30. Subscriptions is going to get a 35. Travel is going to get a 50. So in short-term sinking funds, we have in total going 195. So 540 minus 195 is 345. We're bringing that down here for long-term sinking funds. Um, babies is going to get a five. Car is going to get a five. Deposit a 25. And da, 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 da. emergency nothing because we're done with that. Pets is going to get a five. Retirement 145. Technology and weddings each a five. So in long-term sinking funds, we have 195, the same as in short-term sinking funds. That's interesting. So 345 minus 195 is 150. And we are bringing that here to savings box. So 150, 150 is going in there, nothing in taxes this week. So that means we have zero euros left to budget, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. So that was all for today's video, a very short, very concise video, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I wish you a very wonderful morning, day, evening, wherever you are, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!